what you see that suggests, reminds you of a conversation, is the way these two hands are. The five question protocol evolved over a number of years. It evolved in the medical field in response to a concern that physicians were jumping to conclusions. So the protocol was designed to slow the viewer down, to actually focus on how they know what they know, because we can't be bias free, but we can be bias aware. And that's something I overlooked because I was so intently kind of focusing on where the light was. When I was in medical school, I really saw a lot of cross-pollination between skills that come from humanities and are necessary for clinical work. When we bring medical students from the school to the Memorial Art Gallery to teach the art and observation program, we are met with a lot of skepticism. But as they engage with the art, consistently they're drawn into the conversation. So she has a white band across her like forehead at her hairline. The five questions are, what do you see? Does it remind you of anything? What's the story here? Then what information would help you confirm your hypothesis? And what have you learned about yourself as an observer in this process? I think the five question protocol perfectly parallels my experience um, within the doctor-patient relationship. In medicine, we're often making parallels to what we've seen before. This sounds like the pneumonia I've heard before, this looks like you know, a rash I've seen before. Having that be a prompt in that observation course really makes perfect sense within clinical practice. They're able to think about their interpretation and how that is conditioned by their biases and assumptions and the cognitive shortcuts that can sometimes lead to diagnostic errors. This knee, it, we don't even see this leg. The hope is that we're building yeah. habits of mind by slowing them down to begin with, to be more self-aware as observers. I hope that students will take away from this program the value of the humanities and arts in their own education, not as a theoretical or as an enrichment piece, but as a skill that can be applied to the care of the patients. You're using a reference. Having the time to work in this coursework and um, appreciate these things gives me um, more space to pause and not rush to conclusions. And practicing that with art helps me be more mindful in practicing that with patients.